So I'm a real estate advisor in development projects, especially mixed-use development projects, which are projects featuring multiple uses, such as underground parking with retail on top, hotel and residential. I've always been passionate by real estate trends, and practicing in real estate has enabled me to be at the forefront of such trends. So in my practice as a real estate development lawyer, what the clients require the most is lawyers who are a blend of technical lawyers, um, real estate strategists, and have a deep understanding of real estate trends. For example, in mixed-use development projects, there are many operational challenges such as the control and the cost allocation of underground parking and other common areas. So you have to bring lots of operational expertise into your practice, and that's what the clients are looking for in this particular field of development. What I tend to do is um, very actively involved in the business life of my client. So I will share with them many articles on real estate trends and legal developments. I will invite them to give joint conferences together. I will um, present to them uh, potential partners to develop new business opportunities. And most of all, I simply ask them, what is the added value that I can bring to your project? And then I devote most of my time to implement on what they just said to me. So I've, I sit on the strategic committee of the Quebec uh, Development Institute, a Real Estate Development Institute, which is the Quebec leading real estate association. In this committee, we study the impact of proposed public policies on the developments of the real estate industry as a whole, and then we discuss how to strategically address them. Aside from that, I'm a director of the Canadian branch of Humanity and Inclusion. Humanity and Inclusion is a award-winning uh, NGO. They won the Nobel Peace Prize 20 years ago for their humanita humanitarian work with landmine victims. But having said that, even though they helped last year 2 million persons living with disabilities, they're almost unknown in Canada. So I've been working very hard with them to raise awareness and funds for this cause. For example, I introduced them to a Canadian actor who became our uh, Canadian ambassador, and I've developed uh, various initiatives to raise funds. Uh, it, for me, it's very rewarding uh, to try to help as much as I can at this organization. As they say, uh, we repair lives, and it's a privilege to work with them towards that goal.